The fact that it was set, it was set in Forsberg is also, for me, it was, it was attractive. We always had this feeling like Forsberg should be a character in the film. Americans are very good at this thing of mythologizing their cities or their, their, their thing, you know. People say, ah, oh, Chicago, you know, New York, always a character. And, and, and we... <laughs> I've always as a director always feel best when when the actors are involved in making the lines their own. In our preparation for each episode of the Kumars, um, we did a lot of improvisation. And the character developed um, through those improvisations. And there's been a lot of that on this, especially people like Riyad and, and, and Joey, who, who know each other very well and have got a good chemistry. You know, they work a lot within the scenes. If they go on a tangent, they go. But they still know what the scene is about and where they're trying to be with the scene. Dude, I can't speak to her. I can't even breathe when I'm with her. You, you know what it's like for me? When I see her, it's like she's in slow motion. But she's like... You know what's that? You know what's that, my friend? It? It's the thunderbolt. What's the thunderbolt? Godfather part one. Don't you remember? Mm -hmm. Michael Corleone, he shoots Victor Saloso, then he has to go to Sicily, and when he gets to Sicily, he sees this beautiful woman. And then, bang! He shoots her. No, he gets struck by the thunderbolt. <laughs> We just hoi lines all the time, and Craig, uh, the director, is really awesome uh, at giving sort of the actors the opportunity to, you know, try and improvise. Sometimes, you know, a few private words, a few gentle nudges and pushes in a particular direction. It's not science when you write a script. It's just a proposal. It's like once two actors come and they start reading a script, you immediately see it doesn't sound right. I worked a lot with this woman called Asma Ayob, who is also a writer and really helped me get the texture of the script right. And, and of course, that changes everything, you know, because you just write from your own perspective and suddenly she'll say, no, that wouldn't happen, that wouldn't happen, that wouldn't happen, but this would happen. How men and women date or, or how they would go on a date or how they would propose marriage or all of that stuff which is very very particular we basically just do what craig said craig said actors are like cattle Woo is what i say if only there was like some way i could actually get to have a normal conversation with her you know so like, she can see the real me. I mean, I, I'm a nice guy. You're the nicest guy I know. I don't know. Get more with society. Carpe diem. Let go at Vinco. Vini Vidi Beach. Is that Latin? Yes. Seize the moment. Come at the man, come at the hour. Strive and conquer. We were stranded out there, right? And then these guys, they brought the camera in first while they left us out there. I don't think that's... And now she's a producer, and a producer tells us, you know you're not Brad Pitt when, uh, when they say, bring in the camera, we'll get your actors now, now. Now, how do I... Where's the door on the stage? Hello? Yeah, it's hello. There's loads of all the actors, you know, all the comedians, uh, Joey Razkin, uh, all the other uh, younger comedians that came through, Seppo Mokhale, who I've known for a while. Some Chinese guy comes to me and says, hey, you, you watch Lagby? You coconut, huh? Black outside, white inside. I'm like, my brother, you hear us well, you're a banana. <laughs> Toles Mo, Dale Amler, Deep Fried Man came through. It's perfect timing that we got, we got Nick. You know, because he's, he's eating stride now. He's just eating that, you know, big face. Now he's like, everybody's gonna know him. Nelson Mandela said, 
for 27 years, my diva sat so that Tabo Mbeki could walk. <laughs> and Mbeki walked so that Zuma could run. <laughs> and Jacob Zuma ran so that all South Africans could fly <laughs> to Australia, Canada. <laughs> my name is Nick Rabinovitz. I play the character Dave, who is a stand up comedian. Hey. Check these two, they must have grown up in Palestine. Hurry, Mahmoud, we're going to be late for school. But you are taking heavy fire here. I know, but if we are late, we'll get detention. If it's yeah, Yemenite, okay. we will. Yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll boom it and we'll Can you see? get good sound. Yeah. Don't you all, don't you, all you Jewish folks, don't you all know each other? That's what I'm saying. Imagine. You're a Jewish guy and your son is selected as the Springbok hooker, okay? Nachas, nachas. Rachmanis would be the feeling you get when your daughter is selected as the Springbok hooker. <laughs> Dude, it's a little different in my opinion. No, 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 no. Look, tomorrow you can go and think about this and have an existential crisis. Tonight, you're on the bill, my friend, okay? So you get yourself in the mood. You're on in 20 minutes, okay? Right, backstage. Koi. Mal Miller is here. The godfather of stand-up. And he's here and he's so happy that he could uh, yeah. make a cameo in the movie. Rio's obviously really funny. Everybody's really funny. I mean, Nick and Jerry are hysterical. I think you've got a really, really great cast. Uh, looking forward to seeing the movie. Two hours, two and a half hours. When I get here, you know, with jeans and a ponytail, when everyone talks to me, but as soon as I go into the makeup, um, the exception of the makeup artist, of course, who knows, but everyone completely ignores me, and that has taught me in this film that old people really feel very lonely. It's very depressing. This is the horror version of the movie. I think that the people in this film have been fantastic in the sense that there's been no ego. Everybody that's come aboard has really believed in the, in the script, I think. There's been no attitudes, no prima donnas, there's been no fights. Sure, there's been disagreements, but they were over in a minute there. Hold on, thumbs up. One more. If I had to describe this journey, it's been an incredible display of grace on the part of Riyadh, Craig, Vincent and the rest. To have a team that is level-headed and graceful and calm, it made it, made it all worthwhile. We learned a lot on this thing, learned a lot on this project and I'm, I'm happy to be part of it. And uh, I just hope that, uh, that we can actually, you know, translate the script onto screen and do justice to it. In four weeks, if you don't lose it, you're doing, you're a, you're a genius. So there's always a moment or two where you sort of lose it. But, but not too much. These narratives that, that come out of South Africa, they're important, not because, you know, they, they show off um, Riyadh's skill as a, as a comedian or uh, people in the cast uh, as, as actors, but because they're actually important narratives that people in South Africa would love to see. They'd love to see themselves and their stories. And I'm so glad that we are starting to tell the stories now because the only time you get to tell this story is when someone brave steps up to the plate and say, let's do it. At the heart of it, actually, there's a very, not sad, but there's a very moving story which kind of carries this crazy story along and I think that to make people laugh is one thing but to make them laugh and cry that's when I think you really nail it you'll feel good about it it'll be feel good but you'll also have had a good laugh and a, a bit of a weep and you'll feel good it's a movie experience you must go watch it to see the experience that we experienced you are watching behind the material Got it? Got it? <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrap, guys. It's a wrap. Is that the same? 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You just told me. These two. Why is there no sign? <laughs> Let's make a sign. It's a wrap. Okay, that's the sign. For that. Space, the final frontier. There's a demand for you out there, and I will supply that demand. Say paneer. Paneer. What? Paneer. Say paneer. It's cheese. It's cheese in India. Paneer. Yeah. yeah? You need an alibi. Life is not a funny business. There's a secret greeting for, for Indians when they meet Jews. They just go, Hey, bro. Indian people, we keep grudges for 40 years. Zulfa Fora. That's the one. Remember how she used to make Sarah like a mosquito? Lovely food. I'm Zulfa. I'm, a, I'm an idiot. You are an idiot. I really like a dad. No, no, no. You don't marry the person, you marry the family. And you know what? Who is she to say that my biryani is dry? Standing, standing comedy. Stand up comedy? Yes, that. <laughs> I hate rugby. Has anybody been for a Pakistani head massage? The Imam was telling us about all the terrible things on the phone, like mixing it and tuta. He also said the children were on face break and stabbing each other. It's poking, Daddy. This is more! Assalamu alaikum. We are seriously going places. Don't say it. I'm Peter the Williams and you are here behind the scenes of Material, the wonderful movie with uh, this guy in the uh, Riyadh Musa. And uh, you know, he's like uh, he's a wonderful guy, he could make a good... Uh, um... Oh yeah, you know, he's very nice. I don't think he can play rugby. Less is more! My son, what have you done? That's the one, guys. Not that.